Hi everyone, Suzanne here. I hope you're all well and welcome to So Custom. Today's video is going to be the making of this little number. So if you're interested in seeing that, then let's get started. Starting with the fabric, this is a viscose jersey and has stretch in both directions. Nice and drapey and good for a project like this. And on to the cutting out. This is my back skirt. My fabric underneath is on the fold. I have a little notch at the centre at the waist. So that's my back cut out. And on to the front. Again, my fabric here is on the fold. Same little notch at the waist in the centre. So now to join these two pieces together. So my fabric here, right side up, laying my back on top, lining up the side seams and pinning, and ready to stitch. Stitching here at my one centimeter seam allowance, back stitching at the start, the whole way down the side seam, and back stitching at the end. I'm using a three millimeter stitch length and a size 70 sharps needle and just a straight stitch. So I'll clean up that edge off camera and of course I'll sew the other side. So you can see I've done that here, giving it a nice press. And while I was at the overlocker I just ran the hem through it just to tidy it up and pressed up by my hem allowance and ready to stitch. So stitching here using that same stitch length, back stitching at the start and I'm sewing directly through those overlock stitches, trying to keep as even as I can the whole way around, back stitching at the end, so that's how that looks. And off camera, I've given that a bit of a press, so that's as far as I can go with the skirt at present, so I'm going to set it aside to work on the bodice. So starting with the front, I have two layers of that fabric underneath this pattern piece, and a couple of notches up around the arms. So one that will help me to locate the sleeve later and one for my little slash at the top of the shoulder. So you'll see how they work later on. So before I do any sewing on the bodice, I just want to stabilize that little curve on the neckline. So I'm using some stretch stabilizing tape Pressing that into place, that will just support the neckline a little bit and not allow it to stretch out too much. So now that that's done, I can join my two bodice pieces together at the center front. So just lining those up right sides together, pinning, and stitching here at my one centimeter seam alliance, back stitching at the start and back stitching at the end. So that's how that looks. So I need to tidy up that edge and give it a bit of a press, which you can see I've done here. So now for the sleeves. So I have two layers of that fabric underneath my pattern piece here. And then a couple of corresponding notches around the armholes. So just like the bodice before, these will help me to place the sleeves in the correct place on the bodice. So laying my sleeve over my bodice, right sides together, lining up those notches and pinning. And I'm just pinning up to that top notch. Above that will become my little slash. So again, you'll see how that works later on. So stitching here at my one centimeter seam alliance, back stitching at the start and the end. So off camera, I've tidied up that seam, just up to that top notch and given it a bit of a press. So you can see that here. And now that that's done, I need to work on the facing. So I have a front facing and a back, two layers of fabric underneath both pieces and then a little notch to indicate the bottom of my slit. 
So I have a little bit of prep work to do here before I can add these to the bodice. So I want to join the front and back together just below the notch you just seen me snip. So just lining those up right sides together and pinning. And I'm going to stitch from the bottom edge just up to that notch. Back stitching at the start and the end. So that's how that looks. So I'll finish that little bit of edge off camera and while I'm there I'll just finish off the bottom edge as well just to tidy it up. So you can see I've done that here and now that that's done I can join both my facing pieces together at the centre front. So just laying one over the other right sides together and pinning and stitching here at my one centimeter seam allowance, back stitching at the start and the end. So I'll press that seam open off camera and now that that's done I'm ready to add the facing to the bodice. So just lining it up with the bodice at the centre front, pinning and ready to stitch. And I'm stitching here at my one centimetre seam allowance, back stitching at the start, taking it really gently here around these curves. I want to make sure I've got a nice crisp curve going along that centre front. And back stitching at the end. So that's how that looks. So I just need to trim down that seam. So I'm taking off about two thirds of that seam here. And in preparation for understitching, I just press the facing away from the bodice, but make sure that that trim seam allowance underneath is butted up against the facing. And I finish that pressing off camera. And now that that's done, I'm ready to start understitching. So I'm going to stitch on the facing side about a millimetre or two away from the seam you've just seen me sew and I'm stitching through the facing and that seam allowance underneath. And all this understitching will do is help that little bit of facing to remain in underneath the bodice. So that's how that looks. So I've given it a nice press off camera and this is the result, nice and neat and tidy. So now that the centre part of the facing is all attached, I need to do exactly the same thing to the top of the shoulder at my little slits. So currently my facing and my bodice are wrong sides together. I need them to be right sides together in order to stitch them. So I'm just pulling that facing in underneath the bodice at the front and lining it up with the top of the shoulder. Pinning, doing exactly the same thing at the second side of the slit and pinning. And ready to stitch. So I'm stitching here at my one centimeter seam allowance, back stitching at the start. And once I get to my notch that you see me snip earlier, I'm being really careful to make sure that my last stitch is right at that notch. Little bit of a pivot there and up the other side. Back stitching at the end. So that's how that looks. So I just need to trim down that seam allowance a little bit just to reduce the bulk at that corner and turn the whole thing right side out. And once it's had a bit of a press, this is how it looks. So I'm super pleased with this. And from the outside, nice and neat and tidy. So now I need to attach the facing to the bodice at its outer edge. This will just hold these layers together and help me out later on when I add my back bodice and my necktie. So that's the top part at the center all attached and now for the top of the shoulder and across the neck. And I'm stitching here within my seam allowance, just tacking these two pieces together. 
back stitching at the start and the end. So that's those done. So now that my facing and bodice are all joined together around that outer edge, I'm ready to add my back bodice to my sleeves. So my fabric underneath my pattern piece here is on the fold. I have a couple of notches at the sleeve and one at the top and bottom of the bodice at the centre. So that's my back all cut out and ready to go. So I'm just laying my sleeve over my back bodice right sides together, matching up my notches and pinning. And this time I'm pinning from the underarm point right up to the neck and ready to stitch. Stitching here at my one centimeter seam allowance, back stitching at the start, trying to stick to that one centimeter seam allowance the whole way along and back stitching at the end. So that's my sleeve and back bodice joined together. So off camera, I'll just tidy up that edge and give it a bit of a press. And this is the result. Super happy with that. And now that that's done, I'm ready to close up my side seams. So my fabric is right sides together. I've pinned and now stitching at my one centimeter seam allowance, back stitching at the start and the end. So that's how that looks. And off camera, I've just finished off that edge and given it a little bit of a press. Of course, I've done the same on the other side. And while I was at the overlocker, I've just finished off the edges of my sleeve. And here I'm just pressing those sleeve hems up by my hem allowance by about one centimetre or so and stitching directly through those overlock stitches right the whole way around the hem back stitching at the start and the end so that's how that looks nice and neat I've given them a good press and now that that's done I'm just going to run a few stitches in the ditch at the centre front seam and at my shoulder seams just to hold that facing down while I'm wearing this. So this is my centre front and I'm placing my needle directly in that centre front seam and I'm just running a few stitches down that seam, making sure that I'm catching that facing in underneath. And as I say, this will just help the facing to stay underneath while I'm wearing the dress. So now the last thing I have to do to finish off my bodice is to close up the neckline. And I've chosen to do that with a tie. So I've just cut myself a strip of that fabric it's a couple of inches wide. I've pointed each end of it. I have a notch at the centre back and a notch at either side of the centre front. And from that point, I'm folding it in half along its length and pinning. And stitching here at my one centimetre seam allowance, starting at the point, little pivot at the top, and then continuing at my one centimetre seam allowance right up to that notch. back stitching. So that's how that looks. So I just need to snip into that notch and trim off my bottom corners. So this will just help me out when I come to attach this tie around the neck. And then trimming the bottom corners will just help me out to get a nice sharp point when I turn this through. So I'm just using a sharpie here to pull my fabric through to the right side. I've given it a bit of a press off camera and this is how it looks. And from my centre front notches, I folded in one side of that fabric by my one centimetre seam allowance. You can see that here. You'll see how that works in a second. So now I'm going to attach the unpressed edge to the bodice. So I'm lining up that centre back notch and when I get to the little split at the shoulder, I'm making sure that when I pin here, that the edges of the split are touching. Pinning the centre front, 
and doing exactly the same on the other side. And ready to sew. Stitching here at my 1cm seam allowance, back stitching at the start, taking it nice and easy when I get to those little splits at my shoulder, making sure that they're staying jam close together, trying to stick to my seam allowance the whole way around, back stitching at the end, so that's how that looks. And I just need to trim down that seam alliance, give it a little bit of a press, which you can see here I've went ahead and done off camera. And now that that's done, I can close up the neckline completely. So this is where having that pressed edge really helps out. So I'm just folding that edge over the line of stitching you've just seen me sew and pinning into place. And ready to stitch. And again, just like the facing, I'm trying to stitch in the ditch here. So I'm placing my needle right in that seam between the tie and the bodice. And I'm just taking it super gentle the whole way around the neck, trying to make sure that I'm catching the underside of the tie as I go. Back stitching at the end. So that's how that looks. So it just needs a little bit of a press off camera, which I've went ahead and done. So that's my bodice complete. So I've got those gorgeous cutout details up around the neck, got my tie all nicely in place, my sleeves done, all hemmed. So now I'm ready to add the skirt. So my bodice is wrong side out and my skirt right side out. So I'm just slipping my hands inside the bodice and pulling the skirt through, matching up the waist, which are now right sides together. And then I'm using the notches you seen me clip earlier to line everything up. So centre back, centre front and side seams. Pinning. And when I'm joining my bodice to my skirt, I'm going to add some clear elastic now what this is supposed to do is to allow the waistline to stretch out as I pull this over my head to get it on, but to recover back to its original size. So to the overlocker this time. So I've just laid my elastic on top and I'm stitching directly through it and my two layers of fabric underneath. The whole way around the waist. So that's how that looks. So it just needs a bit of a press off camera and this is how it looks. And with that, this little dress is complete. So I have my facing all in place, my sleeves in, my hem all nicely finished, that tie finishing off the neck, all of that gorgeous cutout detail, my waist all supported with that elastic and this is how it looks on. So I could not be more pleased with how this has turned out. I love the length of the skirt, the shape of the skirt. I love that it's somewhat high-waisted. Of course I love all of that detail up around the neck. So each of those little cutouts, the tie, the raglan sleeves, the fit is super nice. And in this viscose jersey, beautifully lightweight, lovely and flowy and so so comfortable and if you've been following along over on Instagram you might have already seen another variation of this one if not it should be coming soon but anyway love this one so I really hope you guys enjoyed the video I hope you find it useful if you did give it a thumbs up if you've not yet subscribed please do and I shall see you guys in my next one until then I hope you have a fantastic week Bye, folks!